All right, welcome back to Belden the Beer Leaguer. This game is brought to you by me, Belden the Beer Leaguer. Uh, it's going to be a game between the Spruce Moose and the and Blame Canada. The last time these two games or these two teams played a game, it was a nine-seven final in favor of the Spruce Moose. So you know, sit back and enjoy. Here comes the puck drop between the Spruce Moose and Blame Canada. All right, this was a really good save by the goalie right off the shoulder, off the pipe, and into the corner. Great job. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that the Spruce Moose have a couple of different colored jerseys out there. Uh, I, I believe the word was we were supposed to have black, but most people brought blue, and then we have one white out there. You know, it is what it is. It's all the same team. Yeah, I had a little bit of a helmet malfunction. My uh, sweatband was coming um, off of the Velcro that was in there and scratching my forehead, so I had to fix it really quick. I've had a few of those shots go in on me too, and it's it's rough, especially when you know you could have had it, you could have had a piece of it, you did get a piece of it, but just not enough of it. But you know, it's a bummer, it happened. And all the goalies that I've ever known have always, or have had a equipment malfunction at one time or another. We all deal with it. It's all good. Yeah, you can kind of see her throw her head back. I've definitely done that before too. Uh, missing a shot that I probably should have had, but you know, it happens to us all. Yeah, this shot here was just some unfortunate puck luck for for her, but uh, as you'll see, there's going to be a lot of uh, 
um, puck luck situations that uh, come up in this game. So it's just it, it is what it is. It happens. It happens to us all, unfortunately. That was one of those saves right there. It's like you make it and then you realize as you made it that the puck was on you. I, I truly believe she didn't really see that one coming. All right, well, so if you're wondering why the referee waved that one off, we have in this league what's called a Gretzky rule, and you, any one particular player can only score two goals in a game until everyone has scored two goals in a game, and then you can go ahead and score your third one. Uh, and they waved that off because that particular shooter had already scored twice, so he couldn't get a third goal. All right, and the end of the period... Spruce moves up 6-0. Alright, I saw this guy flying down the ice, and I thought I was ready for him, but he was a lot quicker than uh, I anticipated. Almost got me on that wraparound. I couldn't, I didn't uh, dig the, the blade of my skate into the ice to get a good enough push off to uh, get to the other side of the post, but lucky for me, uh, he shorted the shot, so missed the net. Yeah, I'd personally like to chalk that particular goal up to just being uh, out of position. Uh, you know, if you're in just a little bit better, if she was just like maybe a couple of inches over to her left, she makes that save easy. Really good work on uh, Blame Canada's part on that. They just played it perfectly right in front of the net. And I just couldn't grow my leg long enough to uh, to get it out there. So uh, yeah, it was a good play on their part. Good goal.
I chalked that goal up to being a little out of position as well. Uh, it, it, I'm sure you noticed she wasn't exactly centered on the on the net. Uh, I think just again maybe one or two inches in this case to her right, her blocker side, she gets that shot easy. All right, end of the second period, and the Spruce Moose are up 9-1. One more period to go. All right, and if you're wondering to yourself why she's not squared up to the that, that particular shooter at that point, again, we have that Gretzky rule in this league. And that particular shooter has already scored two of his goals, so he can't get a third one. And she was anticipating a pass. Now, I forgot to mention this in the last video that I had when we played at this rink, but you'll hear buzzers and whistles and stuff go on, but you'll continue to see our play going on. It's because this particular building has two rinks in it. So uh, you're hearing all the noise from the other rink as well. <laughs> that has to be the most casual save I think I've ever seen in my entire hockey career. Well, that was a pretty casual save as well. I still think the other one was more casual than that. You know, sometimes with these low shot count games, uh, I don't play them very often, but sometimes uh, when I do, they're kind of nice. Uh, this, this was a pretty low shot count, though, so um, I at least stayed in it. I didn't daydream too much.
All right, so that's the end of the game. 12-1 uh, final. I know those can be kind of rough. I've been on them on both ends of that now. And, uh, you know, hey, maybe better luck next time, right? All right, well, there you have it. 12-1 final. Not as close as I had anticipated, but you never know. We might see them again in the playoffs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like, go ahead and subscribe, and share this with your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.